The Department of Anatomy and Neurobiology is now about 140 years old. We have been devoted toward the study of translational neuroscience, clinical neuroscience, and developmental neuroscience with a specialization in the teaching in the biomedical sciences to prepare our students for the 21st century. The mission of our department is to excel in training future teachers in the biomedical sciences and in basic biomedical research and to have an outstanding research program primarily focusing on neural systems. This department offers students a wide range of opportunities. One is they're assured they're going to get a first grade education in the neurosciences. The second is they're going to be working side by side with medical students. The third thing, and importantly, is they know they're going to be trained to become uh, experts in teaching in the biomedical sciences. We have one PhD program. Our students are trained in gross anatomy and neuroscience, and so they take these courses with the medical students. This enables them to then teach these courses as teaching fellows and to gain a lot of expertise in how you teach very advanced biomedical sciences. And another unique aspect of our program is the student's ability to work in some very high-level neural systems laboratories in our departments. We study cortical systems everywhere from development all the way up to normal aging in humans and non-human primates. We are nationally recognized for our Vesalius program. The Vesalius program is a graduate training program where we provide our students with strong foundation as scientists and in the broad anatomical sciences, but also what makes it really special is that we give our students training as teachers of those topics, which is something that's really different from a lot of programs that are out there. My experience in the Vesalius program thus far has been pretty incredible. I've already been able to take both gross anatomy and neuroscience here at Boston University School of Medicine alongside the first-year medical students, and I've also been able to do a lot with biomedical education, and recently I've actually been able to start working on my master's thesis where I'm studying the cellular and molecular mechanisms of Alzheimer's disease. Especially our PhD students, when they graduate, they have a really fantastic set of skills, not just as scientists, but as teachers, which is very, very useful in science today and, and as a result they get jobs very easily and very quickly. We have actually created and developed uh, several other master's programs. The master's of bioimaging is really unique because it incorporates the management skills necessary to lead imaging centers and it also provides a very practical clinical component which allows students to when they graduate obtain employment immediately upon leaving the educational environment. The forensic programs provide students with hands-on, realistic exposure, not only to deceased individuals by making use of the Gross Anatomy Lab, but also with our outdoor research facility where we can actually do decompositional studies. The future of this department is really aligned where science is going in the 21st century. And that means that science and education is going to have to be aligned with other entities throughout the country. This includes the pharmaceutical industries, biotech industries. So we have actually begun formal collaborations with all of these companies to allow students to have a rich experience in all of these domains. Given the state of NIH funding right now, we have a fairly uncertain future for scientific training in general in the United States. And what I think is really great about our program is that we provide our students with a broad set of strengths, a broad set of skills that help prepare them for a whole variety of jobs. And I think that that's what I hope we continue to do in the future. Our master students typically go on to other professional programs like medical school or PhD programs. And our PhD students typically do postdoctoral fellowships and then move on to research careers either in industry or in academia. The future for the department and its research can only become better as a result of our highly trained master's level students. They become the tools that we need to actually accomplish this level of analysis that needs to occur. What excites me most about this program and the future once I graduate is being able to keep in touch and keep those relationships that I've been able to create here with the students and the faculty and just going forward and seeing where their passions take them.